Hurt, Holly Hunter and Jack Nicholson. For the first time on ITV, a romantic comedy that's big news. Broadcast News, Tuesday at 9. After the break, the news from ITN with Sonia Rusler. The grief of death threatens to tear apart a family. It's always nice to have God on your side. God does not want you here. Why don't you go away? Challenging the very heart of her existence. You've just turned your back and left it all to Simon. Look what it did to him. Let's go of me. Waging war against her soul. What's your purpose? Body and Soul, Thursday at 9 on Carlton. For a booklet about the Child Support Agency, phone 0345 830 830 or look out for the coupon in newspapers and magazines. Paradise on Earth. Home of the ancient gods. The gods could have chosen any place on Earth. They chose Greece, a warm land, where the spirit of the gods lives on. Jeff, love, fancy a cup of tea? Oh, yes, please, Shell. That'll be lovely. I wonder if the connoisseur will notice it's PG Tips granules. I hope not. It was the end of the world when we changed his old slippers. Pure PG Tips, brew to perfection, then freeze-dried to capture all the PG Tips taste. Your favourite cup of tea, just the way you like it. Ah, thanks, love. <gasps> that was never a goal. Lovely cup and tea, love. See the difference. St. Ives Swiss Formula Hair Repair Hair Thickening Shampoo with Dex Panthenol leaves your hair thicker after just one shampoo. For fine, wispy or thinning hair, Sometimes hair thickening shampoo. Feel it working. I was I was very dubious at the beginning that they were going to work, being so thin. Sammy Lovett has discovered new super thin always ultra towels. I did a full hour and a half belly cloth wearing one, and I felt completely fresh and dry. In fact, as the class went on, I completely forgot I was wearing it. Thinner than any conventional towel always has a one-way dry weave top sheet which draws virtually everything into the towel. And an absorbent lockaway core which helps keep it there so the surface stays fresh and dry. Being a dancer and, you know, if they work for me, they're bound to work for anybody else. Thinner than any conventional towel, yet always fresher, always drier. Young Morris was very nervous. Chief Crumpet Toaster to the King was the job, and his tummy felt a little odd as his call came to the hall. What I need for my golden crown is the perfect crumpet, or golden and brown. So as they held their breath, he let his fly. My, oh my, it's perfect for my golden crown with its two full spoons of butter. Mm, what a flavor to savor, he muttered. Now everyone's terribly happy, and with Morris's crumpet so brown, they're enjoying the golden good life you only get with golden crown. Just pop some of them up and get into overdrive, Sprite. KFC popcorn chicken at only one twenty-nine. That's a full value snack, not half, mate. Yes, Martin, it's a tracksuit. I can see that, Dad, but what's it doing on you? It's part of my new healthier lifestyle. First step, Kellogg's Bran Flakes. Kellogg's Bran Flakes? Yeah, they're high in fibre, low in fat. They taste great. So this new lifestyle of yours means that, as well as eating Kellogg's Bran Flakes, you'll be jogging to the newsagents every day? Yep. Well, one step at a time, Martin. Kellogg's Bran Flakes. A step in the right direction. This Tuesday, exclusive to GMTV, Mike Oldfield's in the studio with his brand new video. Oliver Cotton and Deborah Grant, stars of BBC's West Beach. And on the West Coast, Easter with the LAPD and the managers with their reactions to the weekend's football. Top of the league for Tuesday, GMTV. In the world of medical school, only the best can survive. Someone help me! What are you afraid of? A Cut Above, the ITV movie premiere, Wednesday at 8. In just over 10 minutes, London tonight. 
Professor Carlton, the national and international news. Good evening, the news and support from ITN. The headlines this Easter Monday. NATO planes begin enforcing the no-fly zone over Bosnia but can't stop Serb shells killing 56 in Srebrenica. After another American holiday murder, British tourists are warned to get streetwise. The Timex factory dispute, thousands march in support of sacked workers. And tonight's main sports headline, Dennis Irwin keeps Manchester United on top of the Premier League. The United Nations in Bosnia says 56 people have been killed and 73 others seriously wounded during a Serb artillery barrage of the Muslim town of Srebrenica. And Sean Edwards put Bell through for his second score. After the break, teenager Andrew Farrell got his first try at senior level. Wigan must now beat Castleford in their last match of the season on Friday to clinch a fourth successive championship. And that's the news this Easter Monday from Graham and me and all of us at ITN. Good night. Good night. Good evening. It's more of the same on the weather front, meaning yet another split tomorrow, being mostly dry in the far north and northwest, but a mixed bag of sunshine and showers for the rest of us. Now back to tonight, and those showers are very much in the process of fading away, the odd one springing up here and there. But what with these clear slots where temperatures dip quite rapidly, 1 or 34 there in the very far northeast, 3 to 5 typically, that's the high 30s, do watch out for mist or fog patches floating around. Now, as we go into tomorrow, these, along with the low clouds, should lift fairly quickly. And most of us see a good, bright, if not sunny start to the day, with more in the way of cloud up in the far north and drizzle plague in the far northeast, just to add to all the gloom and doom we've seen here over the past couple of days. Now, during the course of the afternoon, that cloud starts piling up out to the west, with more significant rain arriving into the evening. But these hit and miss showers continuing here, there and everywhere, some of those fairly heavy at times. As far as temperatures go tomorrow, very much a repeat performance of today, a high of 13 or 55, down on that, on that rather chilly northeast coast. That's all from me. Good night. <laughs> Good evening. I'm Anna Maria Ash. This is London Tonight. A number of people, including several police officers, have been taken to hospital suffering from the effects of CS gas after a night of violence outside a West London nightclub. Police were sprayed with CS gas and pelted with bottles outside the Hammersmith Palais, where four top reggae bands are playing. The event was a sellout with 2,000 tickets sold. The trouble started when a further 3,000 people turned up without tickets. They threw bottles at the uh, police who were trying to help people who were trapped at the front in the crush and then they used CS gas on the uh, people coming in and on the police officers. Police are standing by in case of further trouble. Detectives are trying to trace the mother of a 10-month-old baby found alone at a house in Thornton Heath, South London. The child's three-year-old sister had been left with a babysitter who became concerned when the mother failed to collect her daughter two days ago as planned. She alerted police who forced their way into the mother's house and discovered the baby on his own. He's said to be in good health. He's now in the care of South Norwood Police. A shopkeeper has been murdered after challenging a man who tried to use a forged £20 note. His brother was also stabbed as he tried to help. He's critically ill in hospital. Simon Harris reports. Luton's Muslim community is in mourning tonight, gathering in the street to pay their respects to a murdered shopkeeper. Mohammed Yaqub, a young father and yet another victim of violent crime. It was shortly before closing time when a man walked into the shop to buy a packet of cigarettes. When he tried to pay with a forged £20 note, he was challenged by Mohammed Yaqub. There was an argument, a struggle, and Mr Yaqub was stabbed to death. His brother, Karim Hussein, was also attacked and was critically injured. Obviously, it is a very, very sad moment for us. Um, it has been a great loss 
to us personally and the community. There are hard workers and the whole community know that they've been working very hard to earn their living and they have no enemy whatsoever in this towns. After the attack, the killer drove off in a car. The police are saying little about the murder. All I can say to the community is that the police have a number of lines of inquiry which we are vigorously pursuing and I'm confident that at the end of the day the persons responsible will be arrested. Tonight, Karim Hussein is in a stable condition in hospital after undergoing major surgery for knife wounds to his stomach. Muslim community leaders are trying to reach his parents in Pakistan to tell them of the tragedy. In Luton, this is Simon Harris for London Tonight. There's increasing concern over the safety of a 12-year-old boy who's been missing for four days. Joseph Stewart vanished from his home in Stoke Newington while his mother was out shopping. He took his BMX bike with him. He was last seen wearing a white shirt, jeans and a black jacket. A week after a young Londoner died at the wheel of a stolen car, the toy company Lego has been accused of glamorising car theft. Its latest catalogue shows a Legoland joyrider scene. This report from Annabel Hackney. This is an all-too-familiar picture, the end of the line for a young boy racing a stone.